But either way, it's on point. Amen? Amen. So, repentance part two. Last week we talked about repentance should be unto God. Right? We repent to God. We saw where John the Baptist said repent. Jesus said it. Peter said it. Acts 17.30 says God is requiring all men to repent. Judas repented for betraying Jesus, but he repented to man, not to God. Amen? And we said the repentance that Judas did was metamelomia, and it means to regret, to have deep remorse at the consequence of sin rather than deep regret for the cause of it. And we say remorse and regret for the sin is not repentance. Repentance is the metanoia changing the thinking so my actions change. So we say without a change of action, there is no repentance. Confession does not save me, repentance does. And that's, that's a hard shift for many people who have heard, just confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. That is acknowledging at... Okay. Let me, let me explain this. The confession, Romans 10, 9, and 10, is the acknowledging of an act that has already taken place. It, it doesn't save me. It acknowledges that I have had metanoia. There has been a change in my belief system, and it has changed my actions, so I confess him as Lord and Savior of my life. Are y'all with me? Yes. The confession is just an indication of the change that has already taken place. The confession does not change me. The confession acknowledges that I have changed. So we can't be like Judas and be repentant and remorseful to people and never change in the eyes of God. And so many people think because they feel sorry for what they've done, they have repented. Feeling sorry is not the repentance. The change is the repentance. You know, I saw a, 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 a picture of a hillbilly redneck that was a racist. And he told his daughter that when she had her biracial child, he didn't want anything else to do with the child. But had him on there painting her toenails and giving her a makeover on her third birthday because something shifted in his heart. He had a metanoia. His, his thinking changed and his heart changed, and so it was acted out in his actions. All right. Y'all follow me. Yes. So you can go from being a hard, cold, redneck racist to loving a little black baby because there has been repentance. There was a shift that took place. And in order for us to walk out repentance, there has to be this metanoia, this change of our thinking, so we can do that which pleases God. It is not in the saying, I'm sorry. I can smack my wife around all day and say I'm sorry, but if I don't have a change in my thinking, my behavior won't change. So I was remorseful, but I was not repentant. And many people think because they're sorry for what we do in the church and we say, God, I'm sorry, but we have not had a change of thinking and our actions have not changed. Say change actions. Change actions. So today, we started talking last week, but we're going to get back into it today. Repentance is the prerequisite for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Say that with me. Say repentance, repentance. is the prerequisite the pre for the kingdom. Jesus said repent. Change your actions for the kingdom of heaven is at, is at hand. I cannot experience the kingdom without true repentance. Remorsefulness does not give me the ability to experience the kingdom. Repentance does. I'm glad, thank you. I, I want that to sink in. Being remorseful will not give me access to the kingdom. Repentance does. Repentance this is hard. I can feel it getting starched here, but that's how we're going to expand our capacity today. Repent, repentance has nothing to do with what I say. It has nothing to do with what I say. So let me ask you a question. Then if repentance has nothing to do with what we say, why are we hanging our salvation on what we said? If repentance has nothing to do with what we say, why are we hanging our salvation and our eternity on what we say instead of what we do. I'm letting it sink in. It's got a marinade. Because I know we, we've been taught wrong. We've been taught, just, just tell the Lord to be. We confess our sins. 
If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us. Notice that's talking to the church. That's talking to people that have already repented but make mistakes. And so when I make a mistake, Sister Teresa, I can confess my sins, and he is faithful and just to forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Well, that's when my garment gets dirty, he'll clean me back up. That means I'm already in the kingdom because I have already repented. And so we're hanging our eternity on what we say instead of what we do. And your eternity is based on your repentance. And your repentance is change in action, not your speech. Yes. How many got that? Yes. And so let's go back to Luke. We, we, we hit it quick last week. We're going to Luke chapter 13, verse 3, in the time that is allotted to me. I want to try to deal with this quickly. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. And we, we told you the story when they came and told Jesus, was these the biggest sinners because Pilate mixed their blood with sacrifices, right? And so verse 3 and then talked about the tower that fell on the people and killed them. So they're, they're, see, the thing in the Jewish mindset is that when something bad happened to a person, it had to be because of sin. So if something really bad happened to you, you were a great sinner. You sin more than Sister Terry because, you know, she just, you know, she got hit by a donkey. But the tower fell on Maurice, so he had to be a worse sinner. And see, that's the Jewish mindset that the, the more in sin a person were, the worse of the death. And so they were coming to Jesus like, yeah, Pilate mixed their blood, you know, with the sacrifice, the tower fell on. Jesus said, so you think that's what's up? You think because they were greater sinners or their deeds were greater than other people, they died these horrific deaths. And then he says in verse 3, he said, I tell you, no. There are no degrees in death. No. But unless you repent, not confess, repent. I wish you could write in your Bible. I know it's the Holy Scroll, but I wish you could write change of action somewhere in your margin or something. He said, unless you change your actions, you will all likewise perish. He said, don't get caught up in why people left. He said, if you don't change your behavior, you're going to perish too. Sin is going to take you out. And you're going to end up in the devil's hell because it's not about the confession. It is about the change of behavior. It is about metanoia, the repentance. And some kind of way, in the translation from Greek to English, we have learned incorrectly that repentance means my remorsefulness and me saying I'm sorry. That's not repentance. That's being remorseful. And I think that the first stage of repentance is you do have to feel remorseful for what you've done, but that, that you can't stay there. You can't stay just remorseful. You have to change your thinking, which will change your actions. How many following me? Go to Ezekiel chapter 18. We're talking about repentance. It's the prerequisite for the kingdom of God. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. I'm going to kind of rush through this because i got to deal with something that the Lord revealed to me on yesterday. Ezekiel 18 and 30. It says, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, each according to his what? Ways or conduct, declares the Lord God. He said, Repent. And turn away from all your transgressions so that iniquity may not become a stumbling block to you. He said you have to repent. you got to change your mind and change your behavior so that transgressions will not become a stumbling block. He, 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 he said repent and turn away from all your transgressions. He didn't just say feel remorseful. He said change your thinking and turn away because when my thinking changed, I turn away from that which I have been gravitating to. So when I had a metanoia 27 years ago about the club, I haven't been back because my thinking changed about that environment. That was a metanoia. I wasn't, I, let me be honest with you. I really was not sorry for going to the club. So I was not remorseful. Okay, I'm messing some of y'all up. I, I like the club, Brother Keyshawn. I like dancing. I like drinking. I like to hang out with the fellas. I like the women in there. 
No, nobody wants to be real with me. No, but thank you. One, can I get one? Can I get two? Can I get two? Can I get three? Can I get three? Can I get three? Okay. Nobody wants to be real. I, I was not really remorseful. I, I didn't say, oh, God, I'm sorry. I ain't going to never go again. No, he told me I was through. 